Humboldt State University is situated on a remote stretch of coast in Northern California and specializes in marine sciences. There's lots of interest in students in the marine programs at HSU. They uh, major typically in fisheries, oceanography, and marine biology. Marine biology has more than 300 kids in the major. They come here for our location, our programs, and our facilities. I think that our location is of advantage in two respects. One, the natural environment is what has attracted lots of students and faculty here. We have lots and lots of diverse habitats. They're all accessible within 30 minutes of campus. We can have amazing field laboratories. But also this long stretch of coast between Cape Blanco, Oregon, and Cape Mendocino, California, is virtually unstudied. And it's a real opportunity for the university to get involved in that. As well as undergraduate and postgraduate studies, HSU is involved in a number of partnerships that make a real difference to businesses and agencies. Humboldt State is a really great partner for a number of reasons. First of all, the university has a strong tradition of education and research in marine sciences. Second, it has a nice little research vessel, the Coral Sea, that serves as a great platform for the work we need to do in the ocean here. It's remote and the weather is often quite poor, so we have to be able to get out here. Um, all of this adds up to a great location to, to do this kind of work and what's even better is the students here are super enthusiastic about getting out to sea and have been a real help in collecting these data and being a part of the program. HSU faculty and students get it. We know how to listen to our community and work with it. For example, HSU faculty and students run the NOAA IU's Ocean Observing Infrastructure in Humboldt Bay and among other things that provides real-time chlorophyll information that the oyster growers use to make decisions about when to harvest their oysters. The Pacific Coast Ocean Observing System, or PACUS, is intended to serve as a backbone of ocean observations along the west coast of the United States. The idea is to look at the California current as a whole, get an idea of what the ecosystem looks like up and down the coast and how it's changing over time. The information we're trying to gather will help inform fisheries management and provide a context for more local studies of processes in the coastal ocean. One of the key insights emerging from this work is that the subarctic plankton ecosystem that's been observed off Oregon does in fact extend this far south. Um, that has important implications for understanding uh, how salmon survive and the salmon population dynamics in this region. We're also finding, however, that the plankton ecosystem changes as we move south, which has important implications for understanding how the California current responds to large uh, climate events like El Nino, as well as understanding the structure and connectivity within the California current as a whole. HSU has a long history of collaboration with state and federal agencies. One reason is that our uh, university tends to be very applied and practical. We have a really strong conservation and kind of sustainability emphasis that unites the faculty and students. And then the second thing is that we have uh, long-term personal relationships with many agency people, collaborative research projects, panels we serve on together. And it's just natural for these collaborations to develop. HSU also works with the private sector to provide research for valuable applied uses, like the work it's doing to help select wave energy sites for Pacific Gas and Electric. In the study that we're doing for PG&E, we are looking at the fishes, plankton and benthic invertebrates found in potential wave energy conversion zones. I think this is a fine area to develop wave energy as long as the proper site is chosen. And by proper site, I mean an area that's going to have a minimal impact on the fish and fisheries. As for significant findings, among the three transects that we are studying, we are finding significant differences in the abundance of several commercially important species, but especially fat fishes such as English sole and Dover sole. HSU is also a leading partner in marine conservation, particularly in the area of marine mammals. There are a number of critical management and conservation concerns relating to marine mammals in Northern California. Um, Humboldt State is perfectly situated to address these in collaboration with a number of agencies up and down the coast. So at Humboldt State we're working with National Marine Fisheries Service, NOAA, National Marine Mammal Lab, Bureau of Land Management, a number of state and local as well as national agencies to address some of these issues. The overriding feeling at HSU is of a university that gets things that matter done. We have a strategic plan. The students at HSU, the faculty, and definitely the surrounding community, we're ready to go to work right now. <laughs>